Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to Under the Air Sports. I'm Eric Hobbs, and I want to talk about kind of a big question going around with Mizzou basketball is, should Dennis Gates be fired after this disaster of a basketball season? First, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like the video, leave us a comment. What do you think Gates' uh, fate should be? What should the future hold for him? Also, find us on Facebook, Instagram, and X. Now let's get let's just get this out of the way real fast. The answer to the question, should Dennis Gates be fired after this season? Not no, but hell no. All right. It's as simple as that, in my opinion. You're talking about an absolute disaster of a season. Yes. Eight and twenty-three as of me filming this. I'm not waiting for the SEC tournament to finish Missouri as of me filming this. It's Wednesday afternoon. They play Georgia tonight, as me filming this again. Probably going to lose. But even if they were to beat Georgia, do we really think they're going to go on a run, beat Florida Thursday, and do anything of note? No. I certainly don't. So I, I expect this season to end 8-24, and 24, but it doesn't matter. You're looking at Dennis Gates being 33-34 and 34 in two years, assuming they lose to Georgia on Wednesday night. It's disastrous given the first season, but you have to look at the first season as well. Why would you fire a guy after a disastrous season right after he just showed that he's capable of having success? The first season, that was still Dennis Gates that went 25 and 10 and got the first NCAA tournament win since 2010. He coached that team, too. Don't forget that. And I've seen people say, well, you know, is it easy to say that when you get a, an NBA first rounder handed to you? Do you remember Kobe Brown in his first three years? He was that, oh, he could be kind of a nice player. Honorable mention, maybe even third team all SEC. It wasn't until he was in Dennis Gates' system and under his tutelage that he transformed into a dominant guy who is now in the NBA. He is, Dennis Gates is the one who brought in Des Moines Hodge. You look at the recruiting class that's coming in, depending on your service of choice, number two in the country, highly thought of, all that. You you want to say, oh, he doesn't, pay, he doesn't care about defense and rebounding. Well, rebounding, I think, you know, Peyton Marshall, I'm super high on this dude. You know, in the OTE this season, we'll see what happens, but I'm very excited about him. I'm very excited about Otter Botang. The class is ridiculous. And how much would a healthy Caleb Grill, a healthy John Tanje, how much would they have been worth to this team? Enough to make them 500 in the SEC? No, probably not. But they would have, they would have been better. That's I don't think arguable. So, while there were circumstances that made them absolutely horrible, they were still bad. But I do think those injuries are what took this season from being bad to just should we fire the coach discussions, which I, I do think these are kind of fringe kind of conversations. I don't think most Mizzou fans are calling for Gates to be fired. All of this said, talk to me in a year if Dennis Gates goes out in the 2024 to 2025 season and wins four or fewer SEC games. This next season has to be progress and not just from 8-24 to 12 and 20 can't think now gotta be a lot better than that because all the goodwill from that first season that i mentioned it is all gone gates is essentially at square one where kind of like the day a new coach is hired is like, all right let's see what we got it's just there's no hope and excitement that that generally comes with that instead it's well you had a great season and then you had an historically bad season which one are you? 
I think Missouri has to win at least 18 games next year. Otherwise, you're going to have some serious conversations about if Gates is the guy going forward. But for this season, no, you are not firing Dennis Gates. End of story. I think, guys, Missouri doesn't even have an athletic director. You got to consider that, too. Who's going to actually go fire him? If someone says Gary Link, I'm just going to throw a chair or something. <laughs> uh, that was not old enough to recall. Quinn Snyder, that whole situation. Gary Link is actually the guy who literally fired Quinn Snyder, even though it was the AD's decision. Just a disaster there. Yeah, there'd have to be an AD in place. I don't think you're going to have an associate AD, interim AD. You say, nope, basketball coach is gone, especially in th these circumstances. Like it, don't like it. That's the way it is, in my opinion. We'll have some more Mizzou basketball coverage coming at you as the transfer portal opens and guys leave, which, let's face it, that's going to happen. And we'll see who Mizzou can add. That has to happen. Until next time, guys, thank you for watching Under the Arch Sports.